right hello there guys and welcome welcome back to the channel so finally uh the moment that seemed that it will never came has arrived we received our season rewards earlier today and i was a good patient lad and i actually waited till i get home so i can do a proper crystal opening for you guys record it with a face cam and all that good stuff in better quality right this is one of the first times I have done that in a while, I think. But either way, so let's see how it did. So for those of you who did not follow my lines for videos, ASR ended up placing second total. These are the rewards that we receive. Quite hefty chunk of uh, six star shards there, 50k five star shards, some TF5 CC, and a couple of TF5 basics that, uh, well, I never seem to run out of. So before we jump into anything else i wanted to say huge congratulations to uh kenobi for regaining the throne back from us so uh unfortunately asr did not manage to get uh two first places uh in a row but uh you know still top three also huge congratulations to new nation uh which is as I'm being told repeatedly recently by New Nation members, the third best alliance in Alliance War overall, and that's why they should not be considered top four, but uh, top three. So here we go, New Nation, top three alliance of Alliance War. And uh, then obviously every single uh, one of you who made it to Masters, GT40, Agent Graphite, Tiffany's Lover, uh, not even going to try that, Stella, Space Bastards, fair enough. Uh, X7V, DSVG, SAS, D69, and the lot, and also for Loki. They had a quite a rocky season by the sound of it, so best of luck to them the next season. It's always an interesting war against them. Right, and obviously, if you placed in Platinum 1, 2, 3, 4, or whatever you placed, so long as you're happy with your Alliance rank, congratulations to you. And uh, if you didn't place as high on, as you wanted, unfortunately, then, well, uh, better luck next season. Right. Right. So we do have some TFRCC stuff to open. And I'm just going to pop open these 10 that we get here, uh, which probably will not make me form anything, which I'm actually put me very close to forming Cosmic, but fair enough. Got a very hefty chunk of skill as well and skill is the one that i really don't want to be honest but uh, either way uh, we have a 25 percent crystal so if from this 25 percent crystal i pull either mystic or cosmic then that will form a full-on tier 5 catalyst it's quite awesome because i don't have like one formed in those classes i currently I'm sitting on three different catalysts, science, mutant, and skill. If this is mystic, or if this is cosmic, then that number is going to go up to four. So, ideally, I think I prefer mystic one right now, but there is no bad option there. But uh, getting mutant one isn't bad at all as well, because we are getting ton of cool mutants. And I'm sure that I'm going to be very happy using them up. But that unfortunately just puts me just over half. So I'm currently at one and a half mutant if I see these, which is, you know, fair enough. Didn't form a catalyst, but getting 25% of a mutant one definitely isn't anything to cry about. Right, now the shards though. Now the shards. So for this one, let's see. So first... Let's attend the black ISO market because we are gonna grab the featured six star hero crystal, which is definitely gonna get opened. And we're also gonna get, grab the featured five star hero crystal. Now, I will, I think, today open some featured five stars, but these are likely gonna be pretty much the last featured five stars they open because I did get lucky enough to pull spider ham which is the only feature champions i was missing there are two champions that i could get as new ones 
and they are largely the ones that I'm hunting for, which is the Fire Star Gamora and a Fire Star White Magneto. Magneto, well now no House Frex now, and uh, that would be cool to get them as a Fire Star. But I already have both of them as six stars, so it's not like it's on top of the must list. But still, getting a new champion is always cool. It's always good, and uh, having dupe on spider ham would be quite good as well if i can get that in unfortunately this one lands on blade instead of gamora which is right next to that so that will be max sigability crystal right we have a few more here three more so let's put it on this wheel again spider ham dupe would be good i'd like that how cosmic goes for the dupe the model abomination is sig 180 now i think this guy i don't remember how high he is um let's see oh cool that's a max ability crystal as well so second one in a row nice nice i like that but still no gamora or white magneto it's quite unfortunate but let's just carry on shall we and yes cool that 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 is very good i really wanted to get the piggy awakened uh just because i like having all of them awakened so perfect hamming it up ideal i like that and uh, yeah, I think this pretty much settles the fact that I probably will not really go for any more of these featured five stars. I might start saving for the next one, or I might just open like basics or dual class, or I don't know. We'll see. So let's see what's gonna happen here. Can I get a new champion? Nope, this is Gambit, and Gambit is max ability crystal as well now, I think. So quite nice. Three max ability crystals. Yeah. Duping the Terex wouldn't have been too bad either. So this uh let's see where we act with six star shards. Yes, so this basically already says it all. I have as many as I need. I mean, as I hoped, we're gonna open three featured six stars. And I'm getting quite conscious that I'm using a lot of extra shards going for these, but I really want that Apocalypse, mainly Apocalypse, because I have Professor X, and obviously Cosmic Ghost Rider, which I have an Awakening Jump for, if need be, and which I'm about to form K5CC for. So yeah, both of those rank ups, would, both of those pulls would be so ideal. So here we go, let's get something great. Obviously there are a bunch of other pulls that I would be happy with, but the main two are Apocalypse and Cosmic Ghost Rider. Come on. That I'm not happy with. That's like Sig 80 now in the guy. I might just end up taking him to rank 3 because I seem to duping him. Really. I, you know. Okay, that, that I'm definitely not happy with. Definitely, definitely did not need more signal than that guy. So that was a colossal waste of 15,000 shots. Yay. Okay, let's hope the next one. The next one is going to bring me Apocalypse. Professor X, Apocalypse, Professor X. Fudge me. That's like the second worst pull in here because I have... Yeah, he's sick. 80 now as well. Man, th this is seriously depressing at this point. There are like out of 24 champions in this crystal, I'd be I would be happy to pull like 15 of them. If not more. This opening has pretty much gone as bad as it can go. Only thing that's worse in here would be Green Goblin and Cable. If I pull either one of those, I, I swear I'll rage. Oh, come on then. Come on then. Apocalypse or Cosmic Ghost Rider. Pretty please. Apocalypse, Cosmic Ghost Rider. Now, Ghost Dupe. I mean, it's cool and all. More sigs on her as well, but man, this was a waste. Kind of. Not kind of, like, it was a really waste. This could possibly mean that these are the last feature crystal that I tried to open because this was. Dog shit. Really, really, really. Sucks. Oh, 
<laughs> and I was so enthusiastic about today. I was like, oh yeah, I can pull so many new cool things. If I do Falcon, maybe I'll rank three him. If I do that, maybe I'll rank some. Yeah, never mind. All three of those pulls were useless at my personal situation. Obviously, pulling Ghost is like great, but they already have her as rank three. Killmonger is like rank two, and I don't know if I want to take him up. And yeah, sucks, man. That's all I can say here. Really, really sucks. But hey, I hope at least some of you enjoy uh, my misery and that uh, picks you up. And if you had a good, right, proper giggle from this opening, well, then hit that like button and uh, all that other cool stuff. But yeah, uh, I got to go and uh, cry in the corner a little bit and rage. Uh, right. See you later, guys. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about the 